You know what? I got an idea. There's a lot of talk. I'm on, I'm on, I'm on a forum and uh, we do like uh, diet stuff. It's a, it's a forum thread about fitness and health. And well, I just thought I would um, take a video or make a video of our 155 calorie supper. Okay, you ready for this? Now, ta-da, it's mahi-mahi and asparagus. Low in fat, only 155 calories, and it's yummy. I put a few spices on it. I start off with a little bit of olive oil, squirt some of that on it, and believe it or not, kicking chicken on one side makes it nice and spicy. I already got that on there. And then also, on that same side, I'm going to put some roasted garlic and herb. <laughs> My voice broke a little bit. Oh, spilled some. A little bit of that on there. Oops, a little bit down there. And then I'm going to go ahead and cook them. Got my pan warming up. Yeah, it looks good and hot. Just make sure it's good and hot. And then we'll get right back to it. Okay, got it on the burner. And while it's on there, it's going to start cooking. Now you can see it's already cooking. Then we'll put a little bit of chipotle and roasted garlic. And some more roasted garlic and herb on top of it. Let me close it real quick. And then we're going to cover it up for a little while and let it cook. Oh, wait a minute. Almost forgot. Another important ingredient to put on it. A little bit of rub sage. Yummy. Don't keep the secret ingredient. Secret ingredient? What, beer? Usually. Not always in it. Just olive take. Oil? It's, oh, got the olive oil on there. Okay. Just take and sprinkle some rub sage on it. Just a little bit. Dab will do ya. And then, we're going to cover it up. Let it cook for a little while, and while it's doing that, we're going to go ahead and get the asparagus ready. Okay, spread them out on the plate. That's a dozen asparagus. It'll be six each, and yes, we're going to have stinky pee later. <laughs> yes, you can see it. A little bit of olive oil on that, and then more roasted garlic and herb. And that'll be that. And the asparagus goes on after I flip the fish once. So we'll let it cook for a little while. And again, we'll be back. Okay, I flipped them once. And honestly, I don't time them. I have no idea how long they're cooking. I just go by. What they're telling you. Yeah, basically, I let the meat tell me when it's ready for flipping. Just experience you know cook it and experiment with it now the, once it's flipped i put some italian seasoning on it and that kind of finishes it off there we go for the flavor combination and i cooked asparagus in there too let me see if i can spread those out a little bit better Now these are frozen asparagus because I guess at this time of year it's not asparagus season because we can't really find it fresh. Last time I found it fresh, it didn't look too fresh. So I'm going to cover it up. Now what I do is I'll just come back, take a look every now and then, see how it's done, uh, see how it's doing, uh, and move the asparagus around. And once it looks done, it's time to serve. I don't know if I mentioned that that's mahi mahi that we're cooking. And um... I found a combination of spices that I like on it, and that tastes pretty good. We'll come back when it's all ready to go. Okay, well, the asparagus is done. 
And the way I can tell is it'll get a little bit scorchy. Like right there. Now I keep rolling them back and forth in the pan as, as it's cooking. But once they get a little bit of scorchy on them, that tells me that they're done. The fish wasn't quite finished yet. But actually, I can see it's got a little bit of moisture on top. So that's telling me that the fish is ready to go. So I'm going to go ahead and see if I can do this with one hand. Here's one. Let's see if we can get to the plate. Uh oh. Okay. Oh, my wife grabbed. That one's mine. Okay. And that be that. Turn that off. Where's my hard crusty? Get all this stuff over here. That's a nice hot burner there. Yeah, and I got a new panda ring on it. Isn't that pretty? Anyway. This is our 155 calorie meal. It's high in protein, it's high in yumminess, and it's filling. Definitely a good diet meal. All right. All right. I'm gonna go eat. And we'll see y'all next time around. Probably do another leatherworking video. See you then.